a murder that took place 17 years ago. It, it was the first time in the country's history the police ever used a spirit medium. The idea was to channel the victim's spirit to learn the identity of the murderer, and the medium performed the channeling was Misty Faye, Maya's mother. True Miss True Mystic May Mi Let me concentrate. True Mystic Misty's channeling! The name Mystic of a certain Misty. man. It's so yeah. Redundant. yeah, I know. The name of a certain man surfaced. Armed with that as evidence, the investigators were spurred into action. But that man. He was found not guilty, wasn't he? That's well, right! Well, he kinda was not guilty, but I can't blame her. Anyways, he was, but the case remained a mystery. Until Scooby-Doo found it! Yes! <laughs> In other words, we failed. It was the first case the world had ever seen the crime tradition openly involved in. It was all over the media, the public, the judiciary, the people of Crime Village. Everyone judged her. Everyone said Misty, Misty's powers were a sham. And then she just disappeared, vanished, while everyone still thought of her as a fraud. But I know the truth! Misty, Misty Face Spirit Channel wasn't a sham at all! Of course it wasn't! And since you managed to reveal the truth, we're finally making a comeback! The crime tradition started to recover at last! But with a new master wielding the power of the clan, does she mean Maya? Yeah, I guess! Family Feud! Feud? Yeah. The Feud? spiritual power of the current channeling technique is in the blood. I just told me the exact same thing before. Let's remember that. We are the women of the Fae family have always been spirit mediums. It's because of the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. According to Maya, only the women in the family can inherit that power. Because... Something. Men's or dicks. <laughs> The main family's bloodline ste stems directly from Mr. Ami, but with each new generation, only one daughter becomes a new master. And the ones who don't become branch families, right? That's right! And it's always a cause of tragedy. You know, Maya had a sister too, an older sister named Mia? Oh yes, I've heard of her! What? You know about Mia? Of course! She became a lawyer in the hopes of discovering what happened to her mother, and lost her life. As a result. Do you know what Mystic Mia is rumored to have said? She said it wasn't only because of her mother that she became a lawyer. She also didn't want to fight with her sister over the leadership of the tradition. Really? Well, she saw what happened to her own mother, Mystic Misty, as she grew up. I guess Mystic Mia got tired of seeing all the rivalry between her mom and her aunt. And by aunt, she means... Morgan Faye. Yes. That's right. Misty Faye had an elder sister, too. Misty, having superior powers, managed to, us to usurp the master seed from her. Mystic, Misty's sister is Mystic Morgan, as you probably know. Shit! <laughs> I just realized I have to do another banner. Anyways, can, what's, why don't you talk about Morgan? Uh, I'll talk about it in a bit, I'll go search it right now. Anyways, I'll continue the line, since it's just Phoenix and Sister Bikini. Morgan? Oh, now there's a name I know well. It was a year ago now, at Maya's home, Crime Village. Oh crap, there's a shadow! Oh god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh god. I, I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting the shadow. Uh, I think we know all she looks like if you watch the second yeah. game. I'll put the better anyways, I'm not gonna put the shadow. Yeah, what she did was terrible. It was all she, she could make her own daughter the next master. That's so mean! Okay. Uh, can you talk about it now? Oh uh, yes, I can. Uh, uh, okay, me, uh, Morgan... Faye, yes. Morgan Faye, what's the Japanese name? Uh, the Japanese name I'll talk in a bit, but for now, um, uh, <laughs> Yes, that's the meaning of Morgan Faye! <laughs> <laughs> comes from a model Le Faye, an infamous sorceress from Autorin Legend. I don't even know how to pronounce that correctly, so I hope I did. I'll text that by then. Um, well, as banners, remember? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I mean, I mean the, the text that you said uh, that you could say. Yes, anyways, the Japanese name is Mi Kimiko Yasato. Kimiko comes from the name of the first Japanese Empress, also known as I I I Imiko. Yeah, Imiko. Ah, oh, that's actually very interesting! And as long as it's been associated with spiritualism. Aha! So that's interesting! In a certain way. Anyways. anyways, I suppose it. We said, we said it at the same time. Oh, wow. I suppose if you know about Mystic Morgan's daughter. Then you must have already realized that Iris... What about Iris? Uh, Iris? Has Iris got to do with any of this? That Iris... 
It's Missy Morgan's daughter. Dun dun dun! Plot twist! Well, that's Iris is what? Is she kidding me? Iris is Morgan Face's daughter? So I was. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say something that would spoil the game, so thank heavens I didn't say it. Morgan and Iris. Okay, just... with that note, I actually want to say something really quickly. I think it was kinda obvious because of the. the. that technique of the lock. How the hell. she said it, she didn't. Um... Know how to unlock them. See? Uh, yes. yes. I don't even know English! Anyways, that, that's kind of related why she can do that, I guess. Yeah. Did you just say that Iris is Morgan Faith's daughter? Oops, I thought you already knew! It sounded like you'd met one of Misty Morgan's daughters already. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. I have? I have. I know I know her very well. Oh? Yes, Pearls. Pearl Faith. Oh, okay. But I always thought she was an only child. You just that child. She's Missy Morgan's. I have no idea. <laughs> Who knew? Missy Morgan. She's in prison now, isn't she? Yes. Ever since she was found to be a co-conspirator in the murder case last year. Case you in the second game. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, now we see our picture. Fuck you, we're in New York. So I'm gonna put it in the profile. It was all down to set pearls up as the next master. However, that that plot failed. Uh, or did it? I see, so I've been wrong all this time! Mystic Morgan had three daughters, not two! What? What? Three? What a twist! Yes, Iris, her twin sister, and Mystic Pearl. What? She's a twin sister? Twin sister? Dun dun dun! Oh, did you know? It all happened 20 years ago! Let's go back in time again! Jesus Christ! <laughs> After the clan leadership was taken from her by her sister, Mystic Morgan's life crumbled. Oh god! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! I forgot about that face. She doesn't have eyeballs, so she's mad. Oh god! Oh, god. No, what she has eyeballs. You can barely see it, though. She put a contact, so I guess. No, no, she does have eyeballs. I, I'm just kidding. They were just in the top. Yeah, I know. It wasn't many years later that Kunai's reputation hit an all-time low when Mystic Morgan's husband realized his wife would never become the master. Fuck he it. left her and the village, thinking that she was gone. Fuck Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, god. oh, awful! I uh, kind of already knew that. He was a jeweler, you know. He had a he remarried, he remarried and that's when it happened. Jewelry person. Ha! Huh, I wonder where I heard that before. He decided to give one of his girls up to be looked after by us here at the temple. Iris. That was Iris. That was Iris. You see, it's unbelievable. If Iris has a twin sister, wait a then... minute. Could it be? Um, could you tell me one more thing, Sister Bikini? What was the name of Iris' sister? No results, no results! I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I just can't remember. All I can recall is that her father was a Oh, jeweler. spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Dahlia Hawthorne is a twin sister! There! I spoil it! <laughs> oh, that was completely I, obvious. obvious! I mean, Dahlia's face is the same as Iris! Uh huh, the only difference is the hair. Yeah, yeah, that's the only difference, though. Well, that's a clue, I guess. Hmm, jeweler. Thank you very much. You have cleared up a lot of details. Pearls had two older sisters, huh? Yes, that's right. No doubt it was all because of Missy Morgan's anger towards the main family. Okay, if you think about it, they also give you a clue here about uh, being Dahlia because they do say that the uh, it was a the the father was a jury and only keep one of his daughter, and that being Dahlia. Yep. Anger? What do you mean? As we know that from case four. Yeah. Her twin daughters were taken from her by a jeweler husband, but even that couldn't destroy her dream that a child of hers would one day lead the clan. That's why she had pearls? It seems that the incident here was a result of Mystic Morgan's anger. It was able to break free of the bars and combine her. So Morgan so is Iris a Oh, wow! So Iris has a twin sister. The plot thickens. But this information will be useless unless I can flesh it out a bit. I need to ask more questions to get some more info. So now we have the profile down the heart or it says it's unknown. Yes. Over it's here. Unknown. <laughs> we just spoiled it. I don't care. Yeah, it's, it's kind of obvious. Anyways, let's move. We to... kinda, uh, let's go to the courtyard and see if there's someone there. Oh no. Okay. Okay. At the first, at the first time, I thought, okay, maybe it's at that time. Now it's that time. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, wait for it. Here it comes! Sounds like someone's happy. What tune is that there, I mean? Sounds familiar. Oh, God. 
Nobody, no more, no cry, no more, no cry. Sing it with me, no more, no cry. I remember when we used to search in the channeling room. Could I? Whoa, I love my job. Who that cares the clues was so I out of sync. <laughs> Who cares if the clues I find are no good? That's not what investigating's all about. Investigate, investigate, but the love investigating. It's a passion. Good case says we have, the case we lost along the way. I would have never guessed that Gumshoe was into reggae. Why does that even reggae? Reggae is pretty much like Jamaican, you know? The same Jamaican. Every case is gonna be airtight. Every case is gonna be airtight. Uh, hey, pal. Huh? Who? Who? Me? I'm looking uh, weather. How long have you been there? I just got here. Oh, okay. So, what are you up to, detective? I'm investigating, pal! I made a promise to Mr. Atchworth! I promised I would find the real murder weapon! The real murder weapon? That barbed sword thing turned out to be a false lead, right? I'm giving my best shot here, but I still haven't turned up any clues. I just found these weird scraps of paper. It looks like a letter or something. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case, though. A letter? Huh... Since we're talking about the letter, let's talk about it now. Sure. About that letter you found. Don't remind me, pal! I must have got here trying to find a murder weapon. And all I find is some burned up old letter. Burned up old letter? Yeah, it was in that incinerator right outside the inner temple. Incinerator? I knew it. I knew I wasn't imagining it. He saw something. Uh huh. There was snow on the incinerator when I first saw it. But after the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used this in ray on the night of the murder. What's up with you, pal? I've got it right here if you want to, if you want to take a look. Can I? Do you mind? Sure, go nuts. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's all spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I bet it's got no relation to the case. Spirit mediums? Hmm, well... Let's, let's take a look at that, actually. It's gotta be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. Okay. Burn letter. See what we can read. Be careful, one night falls, should be there as soon as you hear the lights out bell, must channel her spirit, leave everything up to her. Her name is, she is our ally, the whole. Here's a picture of her, use it when you channel her. I know you can do it. Once this is burned, uh, also make not tell anyone about this letter. Gravely ho roast the master in the fires of Hades and bring our vengeance to fruition. Gravely roast. Ha! Gravely, I wonder where I heard that before. Uh, well, gravy rules. Yeah, the, anyway. In the normal sense, in, the, in that sentence, he means that, um... Yeah, I know. I, I don't know, know what he means. <laughs> I don't know English. Uh, okay, I know what he means. I just don't know how to explain yeah. it. Yeah, I better give it a good looking over and some serious stuff. Make sure you chuck it in the trash when you're done. Littering's a crime, pal. <laughs> Cry, we all know I that. I knew it. So how's the investigation going to the gun shoot? I don't know if I should be telling you, pal. But, I guess it can't hurt. Looks like the murder took place in the inner temple garden. Well, we already know that. And they're taking that bloody writing of the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What? You mean... Yes, I am an asshole. I don't have the details, pal. All I know is, if you don't find Maya down in that sacred cavern, we're gonna be faced with one ugly situation. What kind of ugly situation are we looking at here? Oh, yeah. You got me. I don't know. They're not my worst, pal. Then who said it? Mr. Godo. Fuck! Godo? I mean, Godo? What did he mean by that? What do you mean by that? Murder weapon. So, what do you know about the real murder weapon so far? Well, it wasn't the Shishishito that was found impaled in the victim's body. Mr. Adjua proved that in court today. Yes, uh, that's true. In which case, it must have been another blade. And that's what you're running around like a headless chicken looking for now. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and man, it is it tiring work, but let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken! We got a feather of four six in our cap these days! We're using the department's secret weapon on this! Secret weapon? Uh, secret weapon! Secret weapon? What have I seen? What's this, this secret, before? secret weapon of yours? Are you gonna see missile? You wanna know? You gotta, you gotta think scientifically. Okay? Missile the dog? Alright. The murder weapon was a sword. Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Any uh -huh. questions so far? So no. that means. I know what you're gonna say, but I'll let him look smart. So, what's the perfect tool for the job? Ta-da! A metal detector. Uh, I wanted to see missile. Right? A <laughs> missile? I'm kidding. Anyways. No, I'm talking missile the dog. Oh, missile the dog. Yeah. 
Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from a mile away. I do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I want a missile. Well, you want to give a scientific investig- You want to give a scientific investigation a go? Uh, me? I've been using this thing for hours now. It gets pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a, tr a try? I don't know. Should I help the other gum shimo or not? Now, if you sure. save it for later, uh, you can ask him again if you wanted to do it. So, let's play for a six expert. Because we have nothing better to do. Come on, pal. Good fun, I'm telling you. All right, then. <clears throat> I guess I'll give it a go. Like I said, this is the department's most advanced gadget. The absolute best. It's so sensitive you can make it cry. It's so high tech you can skydive off it. So this time around, we're actually in like the first game. We actually are doing like the same thing we did with that. Um, case five. Uh, no, no, it's not case five. Ca uh, with the thing on uh, case four on the second. Game, yeah, metal which, missile uh, or which or we use the um, one of the three uh, the, things. Uh, metal detector. Interference. We found the electronic interference in the bear. Exactly. Remember that? Yep. It's pretty much like that. Oh, butter. So now I'm gonna tell you how to use it. Tutorial gumshoe away. It's possible the real murder weapon is around you somewhere, right? Sure. That's what we're trying to find out, right? So first, let's turn the detector on. Ta-da! That's the sound of the metal detector signal bouncing off of something metallic. So Next, do the same thing as the first game. Use the detector and take a real good look around this courtyard with it, pal. Once you hit something, tell it a check gauge will flash. And when that happens, press the A button to really give the area a good hard stare. So you have more interaction with the metal. This thing picks up metallic game. objects that are hidden from sight too. Take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious. Okay, pal? Yes. Anyways. Um, okay, what does it seem suspicious? Let's go more to the left, NS. Not that. We know that it is made of gold. Uh, go, uh, oh, what's this? Go down. Bit. Check that. What's this? The staff this is, is right This is Mr. Staff. staff, isn't it? Interesting. Scientifically speaking, they're usually made of wood, but the detector is reacting to it. Yeah, but ho however you look at it, the thing's made of wood, alright? I don't bother investigating and use unless it looks like it might be metallic. Is it the whole point of a metal test to find metal when you can't see it? It's weird that this thing is causing a racket. Here, let me take a look at it. Hey, hands off! Examining evidence is a job for the... Crack. <laughs> the top is coming off! Look what you've done! You damaged a really poor piece of evidence! <gasps> ah! Crap, what do I see? Ta -da! It's the sword! No! And a Jesus Christ! Panic. That's a... A sword? Inside the staff? Is this... Could it be... The murder weapon? Yeah... I never have guessed there'd be a sword concealed in the victim's staff. Take all this kind of thing, a sword came, pal! Oh yeah, it makes sense! Is there why? This one's a real jam! The workmanship is really something else! Thank goodness it wasn't a cane sword! Or else the victim would have stabbed her own foot! I officially give up on trying to figure out how Gumshoe's mind works. If the real scene of the crime was the inner temple garden, then why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall courtyard? Hey Gumshoe, who knows about the hidden sword? No one! Even the police didn't know about this until I discovered it just now! Well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. It doesn't look like there are any traces of blood on it. And I guess this isn't a murder weapon, huh? No, 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 no. I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Yeah, of course! This day's definitely the murder weapon. Great job, pal! i am changed my mind! Ha <laughs> ha! It's about the same length as the Shishito, too. This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'm gonna run over to 4 and 6. There's gotta be some trace of blood left, even if most of it has been wiped off. See you later, pal! Yoink! Yoink! <laughs> Just took some Every stuff. kid's gonna be airtight! Every kid's gonna be airtight! Hold it, wait a minute! Stop singing! Wait up, detective! You don't Wait up, that. detective! Ah, uh, what is it, pal? Don't say. I'm a pretty, a pretty busy guy right now, you know. You're going to get that stat analyzed, right? Would you mind holding off for just a while? Huh? What are you talking about, pal? Please. Just until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I'm starting to get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh, how so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cab right now, and... Well, we don't even know if she's okay or not. The more evidence and testimony I hear, the more uneasy I feel. You don't think. Maya's been Merton, please attempt it! Let's just wait till we can get inside the sacred cavern. Looking kind of brilliant there. 
Okay, okay, just stop it with that face, pal. One thing, though. This is that secret trick. Let's keep it between you and me, alright? If it gets out that we knew about it, didn't say anything, we're finished. I understand. This is just a regular round of the mill staff, got it? Okay, now you take good care of it, pal. Thank you, Detective. Don't worry. She'll be fine. Come, shoe. You know, there's a place at the base of this mountain that has some really good pasta. How about I take you there when you find Maya, huh, pal? Yeah, in the case. Sure. Thanks. So we got the up, uh, victim sets. Received from Detective Gumshoe for safekeeping. I can't help but wonder, though. What was the Elise Dukesden doing with a staff like this in the first place? Mm, that's interesting, but anyways, I think we can now prove something to Edward, so let's go back to the garden, shall we? Uh, back and forth, back and forth. Because, you know, we like going back and forth. That's pretty much the reason for this game. Back and forth, a game. <laughs> yeah, wait, no, uh, over here. In the temple gate. And then, garden! Garden! 